Here we have the very affordable all-new Fire HD 8 tablet, which is great for those already in or who want to be entrenched in the Amazon ecosystem. But at just $90, how good can it be? In this video, we're going to be going over key features, seeing who this product would actually be good for, how it compares to the competition, and whether it's worth your hard-earned money. On this channel, we're all about simplifying reviews and finding out what actually matters. We're here to let you know if products are actually any good and actually worth buying. If that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and let's get into the video. The Fire tablets have always been a great value for the price, and with the inexpensive Fire HD 8, Fire tablets continue to offer a convenient and affordable way to access Amazon content on the go. You'll see that Amazon makes no pretense in trying to pass off the Fire HD 8 as a high-end tablet with its textured plastic back. That kind of feels rubberish, although you do get a nice grip from it. It comes with five color options that are a bit on the conservative side, with black, white, slate, plum, and twilight blue. Now, unlike most tablets that are designed to be used in portrait mode, we notice the camera, buttons, and the rear logo placements all suggest that the Fire HD 8 was intended to be used in landscape mode. The display itself is 8 inches and has decent 1280 by 800 resolution. However, when it comes to pixel density, which affects how sharp and detailed your image is, we found the low definition was noticeable. This was especially the case when reading smaller text on the display, but for regular browsing or reading on the Kindle app, the display was comfortable enough to read. And with watching videos, the lack of pixels was harder to actually notice, making the viewing experience quite enjoyable. The colors were surprisingly better than what we expected, although the blacks could have been a little deeper. Overall, for a $90 tablet, we were impressed with what the display could pull off. And that goes for its performance as well. We didn't expect lightning-fast performance, and the user interface worked well on the tablet to overcome any of the sluggishness. Swiping through home screens and launching various Amazon apps had little to no lag. But when it came to more complex interactions and using third-party apps like Facebook, the sluggishness would creep in a bit more. Since it is designed for media consumption, we found playing HD videos from Amazon extremely smooth. Listening to music was seamless, reading in the Kindle app was flawless, and even shopping on Amazon worked quite well. The dual speakers and large grills delivered some decent sound, making listening to music and watching films enjoyable. It's not immersive or audiophile quality, but since we didn't expect it to be, we weren't surprised or disappointed. Now when it comes to gaming, we really had low expectations, but we were surprised at how the Fire HD 8 tablet handled a number of games, including Asphalt 9. It did take a long time to actually load, but afterward the gameplay was smooth enough to make it enjoyable. The enjoyment was aided by the tablet's game mode that automatically launches to optimize gaming performance. The weakest feature, even considering its price, may be the dual 2 megapixel cameras. It handled video chats sufficiently, provided the lighting was ample, but it wasn't really suitable for taking photos. You get an impressive 12 hours of battery life, although charging it was considerably slow, even with the new USB-C charging. So what's the verdict? Well, if you're looking for an Amazon tablet for basic consumption of Amazon content, the Fire HD 8 tablet is an amazing deal for those invested in the Amazon ecosystem. The Fire OS interface is nicely designed and intuitive, making it easy to find movies, TV shows, magazines, books, and there's an overall good experience of browsing through 500,000 available apps. But it must be said, for those venturing beyond the Amazon walls, you may find the Fire HD 8 tablet limiting. That's all for this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you like what we do, consider subscribing. On this channel, we review tech in a simple, straightforward manner for the average person. So if you want tech reviews made easy, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing. Till next time, hope you all have a great day.